It's Kenny Carraway here for the handoff. Um, I feel like oh, we see this every year with the Olympics, though. There's something that is going to go catastrophically wrong, and oh my God, this isn't going to be ready, and this stadium isn't going to be built, and oh my goodness, they're not going to be able to have these nine events, and then everything goes off, and it's fine. Agreed. I think it's going it to be fine. all the time. Yeah, it'll be fine. It would basically take historic rainfall for <laughs> this 13 million gallon tank to get overloaded to where the water would not be suitable for human swimming. Okay. I'm still not, I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't trust it. I, I just have like, that is it. Like I've been to cities in Europe where you're, you're walking down the streets and you're like, their sewer, sewer system still isn't right. And, yeah. and it's like, you know, 2000 mm -hmm. and you're like, what's happening here? This yeah. is not like the city smells. Yeah. And that's, that's certain cities in Europe. They're, they're like, they've been around forever. That city's been around forever. I don't know what's dumping into that, and I wouldn't want to uh, go swimming in it. The no. Olympics are, what, about four weeks away, five weeks away? Yeah, middle of July. Wasn't the uh, 2024 Olympics awarded to Paris like 15 years ago? Yeah, that's what they've, like, that's what they've built, this entire $1.5 billion water tank. See, that's the and problem. the IOC, right? They should have, like, uh, okay, no, you, you think you can host the Olympics. I need to know for sure that you're about to like, I need to know everything that you're going to do, how you're going to do it, where these events are going to be held. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with this little nasty uh, river that you have. How are you going to fix that? How much mm -hmm. money is it going to cost? When is it going to take like it? Uh, it should be done eight years before the Olympics, not eight weeks. Yeah. I think they, they, <laughs> they easily, did, well, they did a test event in the water uh -huh. and it was fine. Everything went off. Okay. Okay. It's just a matter of, yo, if it rains, which it could, climate's crazy. Oof. If it rains, it's like, hey, we're not having swimming events. The lack of the plan B is what is what is crazy to me. That is a trip. I also think that they they have to have like other rivers that they or other places that they could have done this. Mm -hmm. Like, but they want outside. the scenery of it. I I get it, but for for what event? I mean, first of all, the scenery of it it runs right down the middle of Paris. It's a beautiful. Mm -hmm. Like everyone walked, watch it, uh, walks yeah. over the bridges in order to go from like the main area of Paris to like yeah. the Eiffel Tower. Mm -hmm. You've got to cross the sign. Mm -hmm. So, and, and it's on one side, and like, I don't know, like Notre Dame is on the other side. Yeah. Like, main, oh, the, the Louvre is on one side. There's actually a point where the Louvre is on one side and the Dorsey uh, Museum mm -hmm. is on the other. Like, they're right across from each other, but mm -hmm. you have to take bridges and stuff. Yeah. Like, it's a beautiful part of the city. But I don't know why you had to have an event in it. That's where I'm. TV is it, man, is that the equivalent of, um, you know, the, the the Olympics being in New York City and they want swimming events in the what's that, the Hudson River? Oh yeah, is that the yeah. equivalent? Of, like, well, yeah, probably. <laughs> or if they had, oh, what they could do in San Francisco, you got to swim from Alcatraz to somewhere else. Well, that and could, you got to no, clear boy, the sharks that out. Be an hour long discussion. <laughs> <if we talk. laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> got to clear all the sharks out in LA. Nice. Where would, where would it be? Uh, they don't, I guess right off of one of the beaches, they that don't canal, you fill it with water. <laughs> yeah. That's where it's going to be. Are we going to the Olympics in 2028? Yeah. We're pulling up for sure. Oh, world cup in 26 Olympics in 28. Oh, I cannot wait for world cup. Yeah, gonna be gonna be in there. Gonna oh be yeah. Look. Can't wait. Chatty house is going to invade the Olympics uh, with discord. <laughs> 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 That'd be great. Uh, how's it going, man? I'm good, man. Good. Happy, good. happy late Father's Day to both of you guys, by the way. Yeah, man. Happy, Thanks. Happy yeah. late Father's Day, James. Yeah. That stuff. Sure. I should have texted you guys. Yeah. But, you know. It's all right. I, I, I miss I miss James, man, because uh, I was just trying to text as many people as I could think of. And forgot about my man, James Ham. So happy happy Father's Day. Yeah, James you too, man. For sure. Yeah. Uh, Had a good weekend, though. Did you watch the U.S. Open at all? Did you guys follow the U.S. Open? No. I don't, I think choking in sports is like overrated. Like I think not overrated, but overused. Mm. If you, you miss a three at the buzzer because there's two hands in your face and you're 30 feet from the basket falling away, you just missed a tough shot. Yeah. yeah. It, you know, it just, it, if a 62% free throw shooter misses a free throw at the end of a game in choke, he's just not a good free throw shooter. Mm. That's just, that's just what it is. But in golf, when you're Rory McElroy and you're 460, 463 for 463, I think on putts inside of, four feet mm. and then you miss two of them with with the u.s open on the line with a major on the line tough that's tough that's a choke job yeah 
That's, that's tough, man. It, oh. I remember one time um, Dirk Nowitzki, I think it was, he was talking about like uh, like people getting nervous at the free throw line. Mm-hmm. He was like, everybody's like, oh, I just call my battle on field, this and that, and this and that. He's like, everybody gets nervous. What happens is the best people are able to calm their nerves mm-hmm. and go back to the muscle memory that they have. Yeah. And that's why, you know, they don't they don't miss in those situations. But yeah. same thing here. You know, I'm sure he was nervous just like Definitely. any other human being. And in that moment, he wasn't able to overcome those nerves. Yeah. I Crazy. Did, that's what would have happened to me for sure. I would not, I'm not judging Roy McElroy. <laughs> I'm just saying if you're gonna say something, somebody choked in sports, that was a pretty epic choke job. Uh, congrats to Bryson DeChambo, who just Bryson his way around the court. Uh, course and, uh, and, one, and one a major. If they walked in the audio Odyssey studios right now, I'd have no idea. I'd be like, Kim, who are these people? Really? <laughs> really. Maybe I might know Rory. Uh, what's his name? DeChambo? Bryson DeChambo, yeah. No clue. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what do you guys got coming up? Uh, more of that. You guys um, are going to start late, by the way. Sorry. I messed nah, this I mean, up. More of that. Uh, Mavericks, Celtics, game five. Is the NBA season over tonight? We thought it was over on Friday, but we got another game, so we got all that. There we go. Kenny Carraway, Damian Barling coming up next. That's James Ham. I'm Kyle Madsen. We've been the Insider, sponsored by Jiffy Lube. And until tomorrow at 10 a.m., drink water and be nice.